Yo, what's going on guys? Well, I'm here now. Today I'm showing you another fireman farm. This one is in Suldasar. Now, what you're doing is you're killing these blood trolls. Now, because this is in Suldasar and not Nasmir, they don't drop the mounts. But they do drop a shit ton of epics and also greens and cloth and everything. And at this spot, we, my group got roughly 3.3k kills per hour. I think we got 3,280. And that is with one person leaving and we had to replace him so we were down one person for like 5 minutes. But this is roughly a 3.4k per hour farm. So it's really good compared to stuff like Sibala where you get like 2k per hour. You can also see in my bags right there I got one epic already. And this is the map right here, you can see where we are, we're at the bloody gate right next to the nerfed spot. This is where we're farming and apparently they forgot to nerf these mobs even though they nerfed a couple of mobs right next to these. So you can farm these, get roughly 3.4k kills per hour, which is really good compared to other spots like I just said Sibala has roughly 2k to 2.2k mobs per hour. Now the one downside is that most of or some of these mobs are ranged, so you have to do some other damage than just the damage around the statue. You have to focus those outside the statue as well, just to kill those, and apply some star falls around that area as well. And that's really the only downside. There's some ranged mobs, they deal tons of damage, so you, as a healer, for me it was impossible to keep the statue alive, so I was depending on the tank to refresh his own statue, because I had my hands full healing our pullers and our melee DPS, because they took so much damage from the ranged people, because if you don't kill them, they will apply dots and they will shoot at you, and it's just a ton of damage, so as a healer, just get a monk, monk tank and a healer and let the healer focus on healing the dps and the pullers and everything and just tell the monk to refresh his own statue or the own tank statue and you just focus on keeping people alive instead of keep, keep keeping a statue alive because if the people die they have to release and run but if the statue dies the monk can just refresh so you get so many kills right here you can see right now on the ground how many mobs there are they just keep respawning instantly, it's a hyper spawn right now. As I said, 3.4k mobs per hour might be the best farm out there right now. But the one downside is these ranged mobs, so you have to ask yourself, do you want a chill farm? Where you can just, you can kill 2.2k mobs per hour and just stand around the statue and pull some mobs into the statue and don't have any ranged mobs? Or do you want to maximize the efficiency, make more gold per hour, but have to deal with some ranged mobs and a little bit more chaos, but still it's a really good farm. And if you're farming for greens and cloth, which is the, well, the steady gold from this gold farm, you will get much more from this than any other farm, because you get more kills per hour and they are all humanoid. So I got roughly 2k tides for linen per hour on this farm, and on my realm they sell for 25 gold each. That will be 50k gold per hour in tide spray linen alone, and then I can scrap the greens, which makes me roughly 10k more. So for me, doing this farm right here is 60k gold steady, and you can also sell some new vendors, some greys, and loot some gold. Let's say 65k gold steady per hour, and then you have a chance of looting an epic. And as for this group, we got eight epics in one hour. Now that means that everyone, because we farm in four times two, that means everyone got an epic, which would have been true. But one person did not get an epic, and one person got two epics. So seven people got epics, one person got two epics, so eight epics in the first hour of farming this. Which is really good, but then again, 3.4k mobs per hour, which is also really good. So I really recommend this farm, especially if you're after cloth and greens and epics. But if you want a mount, and you only care about the mount, then there's no mounts there, so no reason for you to farm this if you only farm mounts. But I don't see why you would, because the increase of cloth, the increase of greens, and you get so many more epics there because there's more kills per hour, it should outweigh the chance of getting a mount. It depends on your server though, because on some servers the mounts still sell for 1 million each, but on others they sell for 100k gold each, so it depends on where you are and how many people are farming, but then again, if the mounts are cheap on a server, the epics will be even cheaper. But I think on most servers doing this farm compared to a mount farm will be worth it. But that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if the spot is nerfed right now because I, I recorded this video one day ago, like yesterday, almost 24 hours ago. And I didn't have a chance to upload it before now because of internet issues and recording issues and everything but I finally got everything working so I hope you enjoy. Let me know if it's nerfed and try it yourself and just see if it still works and if it works you can do this until it gets nerfed. So yeah.
I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did then leave a like down below, and I'll see you around. Peace.